Hi and welcome back to our new coin hunt. This is a brand new one for me. It's World Coins. Coin in the first World Coin Hunt on the Bucks Coins channel. And we have something that looks very similar to 50p but isn't. It's actually from Cuba. It's a Republic of Cuba coin. Very nice coin though. This one it has a lion with a sword in its hand facing towards the left of the coin. I believe this is what used to be Ceylon but is now known as Sri Lanka. And the rim of the coin there, Turkey. The year year is 1967 well here we go this one is George V let's bring our there you go Georgius the fifth. It's one penny. Does has a hole in it, and it's got that British Empire. Okay, let's take a look at the reverse of the coin. And it says there British West Africa. British West Africa. See if I can find the date for you. There's a bottom, there's a date right at the bottom of the star. 1920. So the coin is a British West Africa from 1920. Doesn't give an exact country, but all we can say is it's from the west coast of Africa all the states that were in the west coast of Africa. Our first bimetallic is a 100 pesos. Would that be Mexico? Oh no. It's from the Republic of Chile. And the year's a bit small on there for my eyes so let me just take it underneath there. It's 2012. So it's from Chile, 2012, 100 pesos by metallic coin. Very nice coin. That West Africa one seems to be a little bit different and it's a bit special. And there we go. There's an opposite by metallic coin. It's 500 lira, 500 L, so that's going to be 500 lira. Republic of Italian, Italia. Get it the right way up. It's 500 lira. Can not see a date on it at all? Must be on the reverse there. Let me just bring that in to have another look. There we go, if I focus in. There you go, 1991. It's right on the bottom of the coin. What I do like about this coin though, is at the top here. For the people who are disabled by being blind, it does have some uh, the braille, given the denomination and the value of it, and the value of that denomination. So it's the opposite bimetallic of that one there, where the silver is round the outside rather than being on the inside. And here we go, this is Ceylon, it's from 1944, so it's just before the war ended, and it's 10, 10 cents, Ceylon. Now, Ceylon, so it's nice to get one of it, one from before and after. Now here, it's Leopold III. 
is the bust on the front and it's five francs from 1941 and that's Belgian it actually says there on the outer rim uh, repeat Rio des Belgique Belgies so it's a Belgian coin old the third okay here we go this one here is United Arab, Arab you start again Steve United Arab Emirates it's I think it's it one or ten I can't make quite remember oh here we go Republica Frances this one's a five franc from 1971 here we go 2007 is it one yen Chinese coin is it one yen I think it is isn't it I have to be honest I don't know where this one's from I can't see any obvious markings that's a Greek coin that recognizes his head, head side it's 20 drachmas yeah here we go Spain first place I went on holiday with my family when we went abroad in the early 60s 50 potatoes that's a date of 1957 and this is where the microscope should come into its own there are stars on the back of this one let's see if we can focus in and find out exactly what they are let's have a look and that says 58 in that star there let me just get my pen my eyesight isn't that good on these I'm afraid here we go Ooh. from the portrait I believe that's Thailand is a country This is Albert, a portrait of Albert II, so there you go, Belgique. Belgique, which is a Dutch spelling, and it's five francs. It's one cent. That's much I can see. But then again, let's bring it in so we can have a look at it properly. Commissioner of Culture Malaya 1943 so it's a Malayan coin from 1943 and it says Commissioner of Culture what's on the other side on the other side is George the sixth King Emperor very nice coin Republic of Moldova there you go you can't get much smaller than that can you and it is 10 bunny <laughs> 10 escudos that's Portugal isn't it let's have a look Republica Portuguesa and it's from 1997 okay there's a nice one 2010 Mauritius and it's one 
groupie. Nice shield there. Is that the... I'm not sure, but that may well be something like the coat of arms for Mauritius. We've got a good selection of countries here. This is an early Portuguese one. Republic of Portuguese. This one's from 1965. And it's one Escudos, Escudo. Okay, let's just do a couple more coins before we call it quits for the night. The first one is from the Republic of Ecuador. We've got certainly got a good spread of countries tonight. We have South American, we have Europeans, we have Far East. 25 centivos. Nice, nice, nice coin. And the last coin for this hunt Okay Republic of Costa Rica So another nice one from 1998 Seems the shield has mountains in it. And on the back is a hundred colonies. B C C R. I'm not sure what that stands for. I well, imagine this, the last C and R is from is Costa Rica, but what the B C in front of it is, I don't know. I have to do a little bit of research on that. But there you go. That's the coins for this coin hunt. I would have to pick out two because I can't really decide which are my favourites. So I'm going to, because it's my channel, I'm going to choose two. One is this West Africa Republic one. Unusual. In fact, it's got a hole in the middle. And it's marked as one penny on the back. And this one, which is the one cent. It's got King George the six, King Emperor. Very unusual markings. So that concludes this hunt. If you enjoyed it, please press the thumbs up button. If you want to see more of this, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow it. And if you're having your hunt of your own, have an enjoyable one. I hope you get the coins that you're looking for. In the meantime, until we meet again, ta-da.